you are watching the most advanced designed and one of the fastest racing cars in the world. It's called the Mach 5. It was built by one of the geniuses of the automotive industry, my father. And you're about to see just how the fabulous Mach 5 came to be. But first, let me demonstrate how well it handles. Local fan favorite speed racers gobbling up this track. Hi, I'm Evelyn Vaccaro for Real TV Films. We're here at the premiere of Speed Racer, the original voice of Speed Racer. Sir, what is it like for you to see this out right now in the theaters? Well, I, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I will in a few minutes. And uh, it's sort of thrilling. Uh, I have a feeling I'll like it. I'm sure you will. Now, what character did you do the original voice for? Speed and his older brother, Racer X, and, uh, oh, I'd say uh, a third of the villains. Well, there were only four of us in the voice cast. One gal, Corrine Orr, and two guys, Jack Grimes and Jack Curtis. And uh, we did the heroes, and we had to do all the villains. Now, if there's a sequel, will you be involved? I don't know. You'll have to ask the Wachowskis. As Warner Brothers, <laughs> I'd love to be, but you know, this business, you don't have the job till you get called for it. <laughs> well, enjoy the show. Good work. Thank you. Of all the voices you've done, which are the most dear to you? Sorry, Peter, I love Snuggle Bear. I love, I love Trixie, and I love Sprite. Those are my favorites. And Peter? I love surprising people by doing crunch your blocks voice or something, you know, I'm going along, I said they talk like that, right? Okay, watch it, step. <laughs> Who said that? What advice would you give to aspiring voice actors today? Don't give up, just keep on plugging. That's about it. You've got to get out there five to twenty phone calls a day and try and sell yourself. You've got to work at it. It's a business and you've got to promote yourself. Peter? Um, I think the best advice I could give any aspiring actor or actress is to have something to fall back on. Uh, it's my personal experience that I used to see actors in the days of radio sit around on a place the third floor of NBC waiting for the phone to ring. Day in and day out, I said to myself, if I'm going to stay in this business, I can't just sit waiting for the phone to ring. And I always wanted to write. So I, I uh, also became a writer from the time I got out of the army, and that has gotten me through some rough financial times. Always have something to fall back on. I don't care if it's waitressing, which is, pays a lot of money these days if you get the right gig. But there were low periods, you know, and you have to save your money for those low ones, mm -hmm. and when you get good money, you have to conserve it. Yeah. Peter uh, taught me that. He told me that. So there, you give me good advice. Go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer. 